Rebecca Ehrenberg, daughter of Tracy and Marco, founders of Pisces Sports Fishing, and I'm here to introduce you to our first ever weekly fishing report for Pisces video edition. We're going to be doing this every Sunday, bringing you the latest from the fishing action in Cabo and what's happening with us at Pisces, so don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so that you can stay in the loop with everything that's happening. Now, my mom wrote the fishing report religiously here in Cabo for over 30 years, but with so much happening, more boats, bigger and better action, we thought the best way to keep you guys up to date on everything happening in Cabo was through a video report. So here we go, our first ever video fishing report. I'm gonna walk you through it. Because this is the first edition of our video report, this time I'm going to recap the whole month of September for you and go into a little bit more detail on what's been happening in this last week. We're gonna talk about overall catch success rates, numbers of fish caught, and we'll focus on marlin, Dorado and tuna catches mostly, along with our weather conditions, bait and lures used in the different fishing areas. We had a 100% catch success rate for the past two weeks, which means every boat that went out caught fish and lots of them. This month, we had a total of 1,093 Dorado, 500 billfish released and 621 tuna. This September has been one of the best in decades, and I really feel confident saying that when we're looking at our Dorado or Mahi numbers and sizes. Captains that have been with us in the fleet for more than 30 years have said that this is the most big bull Dorado, we're talking fish over 40 or 50 pounds that they've ever seen. This started up since the beginning of summer and has pushed all the way through to the end of this month. We had a total of 387 Dorado caught this week, respecting limits, which in Mexico is two Dorado per angler. This also means we released a lot of Dorado this month. Lots of Dorado caught on all vessels, with boats even averaging 10 to 15 fish each, and with quite a few of those averaging 40 to 50 pounds each. Our largest Dorado this month tipped the scales at 51 and 52 pounds each. My favorite little angler, six-year-old Misha, landed a 47-pound bull mahi while we fished aboard the brand new 72-foot 2023 model Viking Reels in Dirt. This vessel has just been added to the fleet this month and is now available for charter. This is a beast of a fishing vessel with all the bells and whistles and it's captained by Alan Silva. On this day, not only did we catch this giant Dorado, but we also had Wahoo, nine tuna, with the largest weighing around 80 pounds. We released a striped marlin and had two blue marlin bites with the largest that we lost a few minutes into the fight, estimated at about 350 pounds. On another day out for Reels and Dirt, they released 20 striped marlin at the Golden Gate Bank. Billfish catches this week included striped marlin mostly, but we also had some nice sailfish and a few blue marlin averaging 200 to 250 pounds each. We had 241 billfish released just in this week. Our top boat for billfish was Pisces 37-foot Viking BB2, captained by Osiel Winkler with 47 billfish released total just in these days. Most of these were stripies, but they also had sailfish and a 200 pound blue released. On their best day, this Thursday, they released 20 marlin and also landed two Dorado. Pisces 35 foot bill collector two also had some epic marlin days with their best day releasing 16 striped marlin, one sailfish, one Dorado and one shark. They did it again this Wednesday with 17 marlin released, one sailfish, seven Dorado and one yellowfin tuna all on the same day. Now for more on the tuna bite, Tuna have mostly averaged about 15 to 30 pounds each, but we've had a few between the 80 and 180 pound mark. Pisces 35 foot bill collector two landed a 167 pound yellowfin, and it would have been even heavier if it hadn't gotten taxed by the tax man. Pisces 35 foot Valerie had some great tuna days with 52 yellowfin this week only. On their best day, they landed 20 yellowfin. Pisces 35 foot not working also had a great tuna bite with 15 yellowfin and two marlin released in one day. As the fall months approach, we will start to see more wahoo, but this month we've had a few decent catches too. For example, Pisces 42 foot Caliente landed an approximate 40 pounder along with some marlin and dorado. Captain Jaime Gonzalez of the Caliente along with his son Tonchis also had an impressive catch this month with two black marlin released in the same day, the largest estimated about 650 pounds. And as Pisces is dedicated to conservation and protecting our local fishery, we'll be conducting a satellite tagging study on black and blue marlin in partnership with Great Fish Tag Research this next week too. Stay tuned for some more action from that study very soon. 
The most productive fishing areas this month were the Golden Gate Bank from Marlin and Dorado. Although we did also find some tuna there later in the month with some porpoise schools coming through. Lots and lots of bait around, mostly mackerel and caballito. Boats mainly fish live bait, but some also trolled ballyhoo. Dorado were taking anything really at this point, from feather lures to plugs and live or dead bait. Blue marlin were all caught on lures this month. Those searching out the wahoo found them on Rapala and some on some bait. Tunas also mostly on cedar plugs, feathers, and hoochies. And most tunas uh, were caught out of San Jaime or the 1150 spot, others straight out south from the point. Weather conditions have been beautiful this September. Yes, it's been hot, but the fishing has been hotter, so we can't complain. Only thing that held us up this month was a few storms that closed the port, about six days total. Other than that, weather temps averaged about 85 degrees Fahrenheit, and seas were mostly calm, especially early morning, with only a few days of swell in the days with the storms close by. And that's a wrap for our first monthly fish report. We'll be back next week with more from Pisces Sports Fishing in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico.